to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be making chicken fettuccine Alfredo. This is so creamy and so delicious. I make it at least a couple of times a month. My son absolutely loves this and says that this is better than any restaurant he's tried it at. So if you're interested in finding out how I make this creamy, delicious chicken fettuccine Alfredo, stick around and I'll be more than happy to show you how. Here we have a large pot of water that's come to a boil and I'm adding one tablespoon of salt. Add in 12 ounces of fettuccine noodles or you can use the noodles of your choice. Um, I'm going to cook these fettuccine noodles for 12 minutes. If you're using a different pasta, then make sure you follow the directions on the back of the package for al dente. While the pasta is cooking, we're gonna take this two large chicken breast and we're going to split them down the middle to create two pieces. Um, once we're done here, we'll have a to total of four chicken breasts. Um, I cut them like this so to make sure that it cooks all the way through. You know, I'm feeding this to my family, so it needs to be cooked all the way through. And this is a way of kind of ensuring that um, it's fully cooks through and you know we have four pieces of chicken here now so everybody's gonna get a piece of chicken okay once you got your chicken nicely cut like this we're gonna add about half a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm gonna add my spices in here I have one teaspoon of seasoned salt, one teaspoon of Greek all-purpose seasoning, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm gonna massage all this in there until it's completely covered in the seasoning. Quickly go wash my hands. And this is what it looks like. Now let's go on over to the stove. All right, so add about half a tablespoon to this hot skillet. We're gonna let this get pretty hot. When the chicken hit, hit, hits it, you want it to sizzle pretty good. Grab some of this pasta water. We're gonna be using about half a cup of this pasta water. I'm just checking the pasta here. It looks like um, it's pretty good. So let's drain this out. Meanwhile, I'm letting my skillet heat up, so it'll be nice and warm once we get that chicken on there. So with this pasta, I'm gonna rinse it with cold water so it doesn't stick. I wanna stop the cooking process. That way, um, when, when I finally am ready to use it, it it's not gonna be you know like overcooked. All right, so set that aside, and we're gonna go back over to our skillet here. It's nice and hot, and I'm gonna add the chicken breast now. Make sure that the skillet is on a medium to high heat. It's very important to get a nice sear. Let the chicken cook for five minutes on each side. So while the chicken cooks, uh, I just want to ask you some questions. What do you want to see me cook? Is there a meal that you've been wanting to learn and you just haven't seen a recipe out there for it? If you guys have any suggestions, I'm always open to suggestions. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that way you can see more delicious meals. It has been cooking for five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and turn it over. And look how nice and seared that is. It's looking really good. So we're gonna continue to cook this for about another five minutes on the other side so it can also get nice and crispy. Okay, once this is all nicely cooked, we're gonna transfer this over to a plate so it can stay uh, nice and warm. I'm just gonna stick mine in the microwave. That's how I keep it warm. This juicy chicken looks amazing. Look how juicy it looks. I'm so hungry at this point. Yum. Okay, let's set that aside in the microwave. Okay, turn your heat down to a medium and we're gonna add the butter 
This is eight tablespoons of butter and I'm throwing in my minced garlic. If you don't like garlic, leave it out, but it gives it so much great flavor. I love garlic. So if you like garlic, go ahead, throw it in there. That was four garlic cloves that I minced. I like to use fresh garlic, but use whatever you have. We're gonna saute that for about a minute or two. Um, you'll know it's ready because the garlic will be nice and fragrant. Once that's had time to cook, about a minute or two, we're gonna add in our heavy cream. That's two cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm also gonna add in half cup of that reserved pasta water. The pasta water just kind of helps it stretch and it kind of helps to add a little bit more creaminess to the sauce. So just mix that in there and I'm also gonna throw in the Parmesan cheese. It's one cup of Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna mix that until it's nicely melted in there. Also add um, some salt and pepper. Now, this is optional because there's a lot of flavor down there on, that, on the bottom of this pan. So you might wanna try it to see if it even needs salt. I'm just adding a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We're gonna let this come to a simmer, and we're gonna simmer this two to three minutes. So you can see it's bubbling up pretty nicely here. Yummy. I have to tell you that at this point, I was so hungry, so this is looking so delicious. Okay, this has been simmering about three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in those noodles, that pasta. Toss those noodles around in that sauce. And we're gonna bring this just to a gentle simmer. Remember that pasta was al dente, so we want it to kind of soak in some of those flavors from the sauce. So this has come just to that gentle simmer that I was talking about. And we're going to go ahead and take this off of the heat. As this sits, it will thicken up. I know it looks a little watery right now, but trust me, trust the process. So taking this off the heat, I'm going to just toss the noodles in there one more time. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up. Now I am going to just leave this here while I cut up the chicken. I like to throw my chicken on top of this, so that's what we're gonna do next. Here is our finished product. Creamy chicken fettuccine Alfredo that my family enjoys. So creamy. You have got to try this. It's delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try because I'm so hungry and it looks so delicious. All right, it's all nice and done and I'm seriously, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to try this. Okay, here we go. No, it's seriously so good. If you guys like fettuccine alfredo and you've been trying to figure out how to make it, try this recipe. I think you will really like it. My family enjoys it. So there you have it. Creamy chicken fettuccine alfredo that I'm sure your entire family will enjoy. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.